Question seems familiar. Which form of magic is used to find water? Oh, uh, dousing. I have a feeling this is the right answer. So it should go until Saturday. How did the Witch of Agnesi, Ag Agnesi gain the first half of its name? Oh, the translation thing. Yeah. Yeah, the ga this game's music is so good. Not as good as Rebirth, but... Who designed the prototype for the katana? Oh, that's, yeah, the Masek. We just did that one, right? Somebody commented on my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Stagger Guide thing, trophy, whatever. Uh, and they were like, the, yes, the Gungaga music in the background. I'm like, yes, <laughs> thank you for noticing. There's an error in this sentence. What kind is it? Comma splice? I I feel like I, sh I I actually don't know. There is an error in this sentence. What kind is it? I'm gonna do comma splice, I think. Even better by the time you can relate the lyrics to the story. Yeah, like trip trip the brown cow, trip the brown cow. J Will. I have a feeling this is the right answer. How's Claston? How you doing? Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's already Saturday. See, that's so fast. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I love her. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. I still think I want to wait, though. A previously blocked path is now open. I should check it out next time I go to Tartarus. And I, I think now I'm going to wait until they have missing people, right? Are you stopped being rude? Ivy seems good. Good, good, good. I'm glad. Yo, what's up? Thank God today's the last day of exams. How have you been? Don't, don't ask. Man, I can't wait to let off some steam. You gotta let loose during summer, you know? All right, he's talking to us now. He's he's over blaming us for his his own doubts. It's the last day of exams. The questions are just too easy. My pen won't stop moving. Oh, I wonder if that's because my academics is high enough. I wonder if that affects that. I'm done, baby. The dark days of testing are finally over. The sun is shining bright. I love Junpei. You are not gonna believe this. I ace PE. Well, that pretty much answers my question. Whatever. A real man doesn't dwell in the past. I'm already thinking ahead to the blue skies of Yakushima. Oh, yeah. That's coming up soon, huh? Are you all ready to go? I think PE might be the only thing I, like, failed in high school. I'm not sure if I actually failed or if I just, like, just didn't go. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I guess I should start getting ready too. What? Oh, sorry, I don't sound very enthusiastic, do I? Hey, how about we stop somewhere on the way back? I don't have practice today. Sounds good. Where are we going? Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that though, class. I'm glad Ivy's doing okay. If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> very funny. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. They're totally gonna have like a fan servicey moment in this game for sure. Hey, uh, I know I've been kind of a dick lately. So, uh, 
sorry. Don't worry about it, bud. <laughs> Alright, let's put this whole thing behind us. Cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I'm glad that that was a short-lived... I'm actually glad that was like a short-lived character beat. to talk about a new candidate. Oh. Does oh? Does mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Luca. What's wrong, Natsuki-chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one. Oh, wait, are you about to head out for the day? Okay, then, never mind. Wait, it's all right. I'll help you. Sorry. I'll see you all back at the dorm later. That's cute. I think that's cute. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, Fred. <coughs> how beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. Mr. Chairman? Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. Wait, we saw this kid. <laughs> hello. Oh, Amadakun. What are you doing here? You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about your parents, right? Oh, is this... Wait, this kid's gonna join us? Really? It used to only be me and my mom. She got in an accident. So now it's just me. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But that doesn't mean he should stay at the elementary school dorm all by himself, right? So I decided to move him to your dorm, just for the summer. <laughs> to our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then he's the new candidate? That's right. But as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student. So it's only a possibility for now. Yeah. What? Are you Akihiko Sonata Senpai? Uh, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You've never lost a boxing match. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, nice to meet you. I feel like this kid's too small to do battle with shadows, but but all right. Maybe he maybe he's like more of a like a support character if he joins us. <laughs> bye bye school exams. Hello summer vacation. Yakushima, here we come. On Monday, gotta hit up Polonia Mall to get some stuff for the trip. Yes, precisely. Don't underestimate Small. He's, but like, he's like, he's like, an, uh, he's like uh, six years old. Speaking of Polonia Mall, here, take this. Black Sword. Oh, that's another, what's that? Just a small reward. You all deserve a little something after studying hard for exams. Have you heard of the antique shop at Polonia Mall? It's called Mayoido. It just reopened today, actually. Oh yeah, it's the 18th. If you bring that to the shop, I'm sure. Oh! Why? How's an antique shop gonna help us? Am I missing something? Mm. Hmm, I can't quite explain it very well myself. It'd be better to hear from the shop owner than from me. It's a synthesizing shop. Yeah, but that. But he's like. He's like a small one. Don't think he's supposed to be. Maybe 10. Oh, maybe 10. But still, he's a little. He's a little These shadows are, uh, you know? That antique shop in Polonia Mall. The chairman suggested I pay them a visit. I'll head over there now. Oh, okay. I better, I better get going, okay. Oh, it literally won't let me do anything but go here. 
How they'll be able to help me, I don't know. Because the only thing left to do is find out. Welcome. Uh, she's cool. Are you in high school and you're shopping here? Well, take your time and look around. Seems this lady owns the antique shop. I should show her the black sword that I got from Akutsuki. What's that? Here, let me take a look. I see. I see. So you're one of the, you're one of the ones Kurosawa was talking about. This is but a humble antique shop. Having said that, I believe I could be of some assistance to you, as long as I have something like this black sword that is. This here is a base model for crafting weapons. By fusing it with various materials, you can craft special equipment. I can help with the crafting process, but you'll have to collect the required materials yourself. These base materials can be found in places that tend to be quite unwelcoming. That's why it'll be up to you to collect them. If you find any gems or the like, oh, I have so many gems. I'd be willing to exchange them for some of my wares. Go ahead and have a gander. You can now travel to Mayuru Antiques to conduct an item fusion or item exchange. Item fusions involve expending one weapon part and a handful of required materials to create a unique piece of equipment. It's a synthesizing shop. In the item exchange, the proprietor will take any gemstones off your hand in exchange for items. Materials that are used in item fusions can often be found in Tartarus. Oh, this is dope. Trade card? Oh. Those are, those are, so you, okay, so we can max out a persona's stats then, if we have gems. This is dope. You should learn how to identify fakes. You won't find any in my store, but other antique shops may carry them. Invigorate. all kinds of people in this world, like liars and cheats. Okay. Uh, recover 5 SP each turn. Growth 2. Doubles healing effect. Doubles healing effects? Holy shit. Raise attack when shifted to. Crit rate boost. Because you could buy one of these. And then just du duplicate them, right? Halves HP cost of... Oh, shit. Halves SP cost of magic? Oh, shit. There are other people who can use personas, right? I try to get along with them. You can overcome most hurdles in life with your friends. Oh, this is dope. You better tell no Cures all. Decrease attack of all foes for three turns. Oh, this is super cool. Teddy bear might please someone. Japanese doll, kaleidoscope, Google. Goggle, goggle-eyed idol. Snuff souls. That's dope. This is really cool. Those antiques and gems can lose their lust creating equipment. Cannot be equipped. What would you like? Oh, that's neat. I thought it would be like one thing, but no. Black Quartz. Fusion Bow that easily hits enemies' weak points. Critical rate up high. The more I realize there's so much I don't know. But don't you worry. I'll make sure your equipment is done right. Thanks. Two-handed sword that strikes enemies with a heavy blow for Junpei has a dizzy boost. Damage on downed enemies up. Uh, Auto Sukakaja. Oh, that's cool. So it doesn't have to just be on her persona since she can't. I think I want to wait though and get it for medium likelihood to repel physical attacks and counter strike. I feel like that's a better. So, what will it be? And these are all cheap to make. A sword that changes attack affinity to light. Everything I craft it, is sure to be useful against the shadows. Its attack is only go, will you? 30. Why would I get that? A long sword said to have slayed ancient demons. For Cory, does uh, 145 attack, 90. Hmm. I, 
I don't think I'm gonna get any of these yet. I guess I could get black quartz pretty easily though. What would you like? Need one more black quartz to be able to do that. Can I buy it from anywhere? Which one to make this? You'll need material. Oh, that's dope. Okay. To make this, you'll need material. That's cool. Is that all you need? Come again. Yeah, I don't know though if I can buy that anywhere. Like, I don't think I can purchase a black quartz anywhere, right? Um, has this been updated at all? I'm guessing he doesn't have... Yeah, okay. What do you got? Well, let me got some new things and stuff. Oh, I can buy stuff. A sturdy sword that emits spiritual energy. Western sword with a design inspired by a hero. 138 attack. Two-handed sword, lightweight but deadly. When it comes to blades, you've really got to take good care of them. Otherwise, they're just useless metal Strikes sticks. with the power of a meteor. That's cool. Is this charm? <laughs> that would have been useful before. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything yet. Finished? Come back soon. We have a while until I need to go back to um, Tartarus. At least 19 days at the at the earliest, and then this one. Oh, I bet you I can buy. I bet you I can buy the gems here. Maybe? I believe that you're at the peak of adolescence, correct? Then what I have to say might prove very interesting. Naturally, it's free of charge. Uh... Yeah, why not? Better listen carefully then. Uh-oh. Today's lesson is called, the smaller the dog, the louder the bark. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to see through people's bathing suits at the beach? Nope. I, 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 nope. Sure have. <laughs> I think I've ever seen you this enthusiastic. Consumers might be persuaded by such candor. We could position you as the boy next door. Our company ran an ad in uh, adult magazines proposing a special filter for digital cameras. Simply attach it to your camera and voila! Start peeping! Undress them with your camera's eye, it says. It's been selling like hotcakes. In fact, it's our number one seller. Unfortunately, customers have been complaining that it doesn't work. I told my staff to just ignore it. Nowhere does it guarantee that you'll be able to see anything. Ew. What are they going to do? <laughs> Tell everyone their creepy plan didn't work out? Sorry, bucko. Stud Sona, what's going on? Just caught up on all your nice, nice to find. That. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm glad that the uh, I'm glad uploading these uh, helps. That's awesome. Welcome to the stream. What's going on? Uh, Tanaka Tanaka is um, is a little bit of a freak. And thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the nerd herd. Thank you, dude. He's so weird. You. He's right, By though. By the way, try to cut back on the donuts and cupcakes, huh? I have an idea for an ad campaign. Women would go crazy over a handsome young man in swim trunks. You'd be perfect for the job. First of all, this character, this main character is like a hundred pounds soaking wet.
cut back on the cupcakes. Rank four. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll edit your face into the most obscene material I can find. Oh man, he was ahead of the game. Before all deep fakes and stuff, right? You. Always oh, nice to see. Oh my god, I love it. I'm 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 enjoying. I love this game. Uh, it's dope. It's it's definitely got like part. It's weird. Like it's definitely these characters are weird, and I love it. But I love turn-based RPGs, and this is a really, really good turn-based RPG, so I'm just a big fan. It helps that I played uh, Cyber Sleuth, the Digimon Cyber Sleuth, because the, the way that fusion stuff works is very similar. Because they definitely ripped off Persona, for sure. Post-exam break begins today. It's almost time for the home shopping show. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be re ready to harvest by now. Definitely do this first. Persona 5 introduced you to RPGs. Oh, I love it. I'm very excited to... I don't know when I'll be able to get to 4 and 5, but I'm excited for it, for sure. Longest game you finished? I think... I think the longest single-player game I've played now is probably Rebirth. The juice is loose. The trailer is out. What? What? It's amazing commodities. Welcome to the home shopping show, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. I'm your host, Tanaka. We'll show you great products. I'm going to do it. Oh, this this is the seasonal seasonal corn set. Beetle Beetlejuice. Oh, there's a trailer out for Beetlejuice. No shit. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to watch that. Haven't played Disgaea yet. Uh, no. Good, good. Isn't that only, that's only super long if you can like completionist it, right? First up, we have the Tetracone. And you get three of them. This is one item I highly recommend. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful, but wait, there's more. We'll throw in this Macaracoin. That's expensive. Okay, I'll buy it though. Are you even playing the game if you don't complete it? That's true. I agree. Thanks, kid. Next time, we'll be introducing part two of the designer brand set. Don't miss it. That's it for today. We're all sold out. Bye -bye. Sorry, folks. We'll see you next Sunday, same time, same channel. I feel like my completionist stuff has been... Like, I'm not... I, I, like, I still mentally want to be. But I feel like because of YouTube and streaming, I just can't be as completionist as I would like to be would have been oh yeah yeah for sure yeah it would have been what, what is the story 40 hours or so i so we could talk to i think you know what i could talk to maya I think we're going to talk to... I, th I think if we talk to Moon Kid... Yeah, I... Oh, Junpei, what's up? Came to pick up some swimwear for you, but I don't know which one to get. I asked Sonata-san, but he doesn't give a crap about fashion, so it's up to you, dude. Tell me what I should bring. A Speedo. That's not really my thing. I don't have the body for it, you know? A, a speedo. Yeah. Now to celebrate with some food. Every hour spent testing felt like torture. I need some brain food. Were you also in pain during exam week? A gourmand's gotta eat, after all. Wanna grab a bite somewhere? I can hear my stomach crying out with a vengeance. Yeah, let's do it. We need a spot where we can eat good meat and chat. Oh, the burger place. Top secret. This is for your ears only, okay? This world is gonna end soon. 
all of humanity is going to be completely wiped out. But don't worry. We'll be recreating it as a new land for the survivors. Paradise. Oh. Well, did that just blow your mind? So, he is a, uh, he is a cult. Uh, so the world is ending? <laughs> hey! Not so loud! I told you, it's top secret! You don't want to start a mass panic! In paradise, everyone has wings and perfect figures. And they smell like flowers. I... I can finally be reborn into a worthwhile body! We don't do something, you'll get left behind when the world ends. Uh -oh. I do not want that to happen. So come on, we'll go to paradise together. Don't do it because you're my subject, okay? Do it because we're friends. What a way to start. Like, uh, I get the feelings you meet to considers me. You think? Rank seven. Okay, so how about this? If we factor in initiation fees, scriptures, and other products, uh... Oh, no. It comes out to 132,000 yen. You can take out a loan, right? Not to mention, you'll get a discount since I'll be referring you to. <laughs> you are one lucky guy. Oh, no. Um... That's insane. <laughs> insane? You're the insane one with that sinful mouth of yours. I just wanted to share eternal happiness with you because I care about your soul. I have to go repent on your behalf. In the name of faith. Emergency. I think I decided to go back to the door. I think I chose the wrong thing there. Um. What? <laughs> All right, I need to go to the rooftop, right? Grab my onions. Plants. Potatoes. Sure. Dude, he's so weird. I I actually like his now though. Like I don't obviously I don't know if I like him, but like I like his I think it's fun. Uh, it's Sunday, so they have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, should have the seafood thing, right? Seafood full cur course? That wakatsu? Yeah! I need that for academics. I don't think it's gonna be enough to get it up yet, but... Nope, still four. I'm still just smart. Hope it isn't the case. You can hit the shrine if it... Oh, right, right, right. If it goes down. Academics takes the longest. I'm surprised that courage is maxed out. Uh, that was... That's cool. I did focus on it for a bit. The trip to Yakushima begins today and will last for four days, three nights. I need to get ready. You sound like a little kid. I love these. Oh, he's just having fun. Personally, I'm ready for some training. I do wonder what kind of flora and fauna live there. Wow. It's like we're in an episode of the lifestyles of the rich and fabulous. <laughs> Spring break vibes, yeah. Hottest video game character in history. Vote is Gold Lewis Dickinson. I have no idea who that is. Welcome back, milady. We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. 
you have maids? And you must be her associates from school, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Please, follow me. People speaking in unison for so some serious. reason is so creepy to me. Dude, real life maids. <laughs> I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely proves it. Yo, is that her dad? It's good to see you. I heard the news. There isn't much here, but make yourselves comfortable. Uh, yes, sir. I patch badass. He's he's kind of hot. Here he goes. So, was that her father? It was so intense. And what's up with them wearing a suit in this kind of heat? Every time you see a mansion, think we're gonna be trying to figure out our way out of here. Be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet, this is gonna. Run. Yeah, David, hey, eye patch is badass for it's sure. Literally right there. Oh man, I'm so ready for this. Come on, let's go. What? We just got here. I mean, it's gonna take time to get changed and stuff. Then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Yeah. Oh, dope. Akihiko was like, I'll wear a Speedo, dude. Chance to breathe. Yep. Summer's here. Darn. There's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad. I was hoping for a good swim. Whoa, what's with that swimsuit? <laughs> Hi, Kajaddy. What do you mean? Dude, swim briefs? Nobody wants to see your junk. <laughs> but they're better for swimming. You gotta be different. We come all the way to the beach, and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Damn right I do. It's summertime at the beach. I've got the perfect activity. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, hey, they're here. Is this going to be? I knew it. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takeba. That's quite a bold design. She's really strutting her stuff. <laughs> Archery practice must do wonders for the self-esteem. Mm. <laughs> if no one seems to have claimed the umbrellas around here, do you think we can go ahead and use them? Ooh, next up is contestant number two, Fukuyama Kishi. Wow, Fuka, uh, do you wear swimsuits often or? I knew I knew they were gonna do it like a fan servicey moment. Oh, whoops, was it something I said? Didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> hey, cut it out with that laugh, you creep. And for our final contestant of the day. What happened? Is something wrong? Yup. Wow, Kirito Senpai, you're so beautiful. Yeah, your skin is totally flawless. Tip. Hey, did you put on sunscreen already? What? Zeno? What? That is Zeno's. Gosh darn, man. Thank you. That's wild. That's all. Blame any. It was any road's fault. Your skin is totally flawless. Yeah. Mitsuru is my pick. No, not yet. No, we can't have that. You gotta put them on right now. Oh, can I help? Well, that's okay. I'll do it myself. No, dude. Dude. So, Mitsuru doesn't count. Are you, you're putting me on the spot? We got balls, man. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. All right, I 
think it's about time for a swim. Time! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting you win that easy. He needed to cool down a bit. I feel uneasy. Mm -hmm. It's like someone is watching me. Whoa, it's cold. <laughs> the uneasy feeling went away. What are you standing over there for? The water's fine. They're all rice green looking. Oh, we can actually. I thought it was just going to be. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, look at all the stuff that we can do we can grab. Well, that was pretty dope. I don't know what they want me to do. I do they want me to like Why do they want me to check driftwood? What's over here? The waves that lap on the shore are sparkling and shimmering. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get her something that feels like the ocean. There's a tiny crab walking beneath the water. Elizabeth might be happy if I gave it to her. Okay. But that might die. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think that's, like, the best idea, dude. wonder if this driftwood washed ashore from a distant place. Elizabeth asked me to get her something that feels like the ocean. Elizabeth might be happy if I give her this driftwood. Don't. Don't be gross. <laughs> or am I just... Okay. Uh, seaweed? Watching the waves roll onto the shore is somewhat calming. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get her something that feels like the ocean. There's some seaweed. Elizabeth would like... <laughs> we're just bringing her wood, seaweed, and a live crab. <laughs> and uh, maybe a, a seashell. Might be happy if I gave her a pretty... Yeah, probably that, dude. Probably that. Imagine, <laughs> imagine like, somebody asks you to bring you something from the beach and you bring them soggy seawood, uh, seaweed. Uh, wood. <laughs> And a shell. Bet it'd be nice to row a boat on this vast ocean. People's thalassophobia going wild. I guess we'll also just check in with them. But yeah, Elizabeth gave it's us a some. Place, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I didn't think that was gonna be voice acted, to be honest with you. So that's cool. When I was younger, I used to come here fairly often, but I haven't had the chance to visit since starting high school. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised those are voice acted. I'm glad everyone's having fun out there. Our operations during the dark hour are taxing on both mind and body. You should relax a little. Rest up. If you need to take a break, the best spot to kick back is underneath the parasol. Okay. Or they bring you sea... That's what I'm saying. They bring you seaweed or a live crab. Woohoo! Thanks, Kirijo-senpai. Right now, I feel like I could die with no regrets. Yeah, Junpei. This Junpei's job is beach. Here we are on summer vacation, but I still have to deal with Junpei's usual antics. I love how they're down by the beach. Mitsuru is just sitting there contemplating life. Akihiko is... I don't know what he's... I don't know why he's wearing what he's wearing, Help but... Us, oh, no. What happened? Junpei, come on. Stop. <laughs> Water fights are pretty much a given at the beach. Nice and cool, ain't it? He's right. Hey, knock it off. You're taking this too far. <sighs> okay, fine. You ask for it. I love how they have, like, this this nice little moment before what is inevitably going to be uh, just chaos and death and just real bad stuff. Wait, so what am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to leave? After talking to everybody and grabbing stuff? What's this way? Dude, where are you going? They say never play alone at the beach. All right. Well, we should do, I don't know. I guess maybe just leave and go that way. Nothing else I can do, I don't think. Mm. You're leaving already? Uh, yeah. Mm. What? That's lame. Well, I'm going to stay a little longer. See you later then. Huh. Kind of, kind of weird. I get, I like, Even I get what it's for, but. Fancier than I could have imagined. I've never had to think about the proper way to use a fork and knife so much. 
Ugh. I can't eat anymore. Not even another bite of caviar. <laughs> no one said you had to try to eat all of it. Well, I'm sure we're all exhausted from the trip. Why don't you go rest up in your rooms? I don't think I've ever had caviar that's like that I liked. Oh, are you not coming with us, Senpai? Yes, I'll join you in just a minute. <laughs> I like this human. It's been a while. All right, so this is this is uh, Mitsuru's dad, who's pretty darn cool. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it for so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again, none of the blame is yours. So the incident he's talking about is, I think what happens in Persona 1, where there was like, they were doing studies on how to harness the energy of the shadows and it ended up going uh, Stranger Things style and created this dark hour in Tartarus, in the, which is the dungeon we explore throughout the entire game. Um, and that's her dad who the grandfather was the one that was like responsible for all of this and then he was also there everyone that was responsible for the research died except for her dad apparently we just found that out in the last last stream but yesterday two in harmony surpasses one in perfection that has been our guiding principle since the kirijo family separated from the nanjo group <sighs> You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. I understand. You accessed our database, didn't you? That brings me to my next question. Why didn't you ask me directly, instead of using this trip as an excuse? He doesn't seem it to me, like Soul Survivor usually, but like, he doesn't, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. Bring them here, all of them. I have no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takiba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? So, Yukari, Yukari's dad, understand. Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Was also one of the researchers behind this, but it seems like he died during that. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power. It was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine if you could control the flow of time. Eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Yeah, that's insane. Please don't, please don't get timey-wimey. <laughs> Anytime, anytime time travel stuff starts being introduced, I'm like, oh no, wait. Unfortunately, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. In fact, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth and it's my duty to tell you. Yeah, hot dad with eye patch. Yup. This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. <laughs> Wait a sec. My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. 
This experiment should never have been conceived. I'm afraid the damage will be staggering. At this point, it's unavoidable. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Destroyed the entire world? Whoever is watching this, please. I need you to listen to me very carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. In order to end this, you have no choice but to eliminate all of them. I am the one responsible for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so, I chose to continue without objections. I am responsible. So that's totally Yukari's dad. Yep. You mean that was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takeba. He was the head researcher at the time, and a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. Uh, are you... So that means... My dad caused it all. The Dark Hour. Tartarus. The people who died. It was all his fault. Hey. So is that why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, talk about I... I don't want your pity! Talk about... That's a reaction. <laughs> um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Me? Will you go? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, I... I was sure. I believed in him for so long. You kind of want to play? Uh, you, yeah, I, you need to. I need to. I want to play them all now. I want to see if they end up doing, uh, Persona 1, Persona 2. It, uh, there's rumors that they're doing a Persona 2 collection remaster thing, so. But I, I hope that they do 1, because 2 is, 2 is a direct, like, they're the same. I think some of the same characters are in 2 as they are in 1, so. you at the hospital how my dad died when I was little you understand now right he died in that incident nobody knew the truth so there were all sorts of rumors because he was in charge of the research team people were really mean to me and my mom we even had to move a few times all right I see this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though he said to my family, it was more or less all about me. <laughs> and that only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But now, now I can see it was all for nothing. Excited for Vengeance 250. And this one's going to have like two different thing, two different routes you can go. Like story wise, I think. Can't do. I. I. The Switch is like. I. I slept on the Switch for a while. It is an RPG machine. But, uh. This sounds like smooching music. I think this is more sad music. Because she's like confessing a lot. Some. Some. Introspective stuff here. Only gave me finished on Switch is Xenoblade 3. Really? 
I'm not a fire emblem person. Fire emblem engage was so dope. Stu, that's not true. You're just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Reality sure is harsh, huh? I tried so hard to fight my fear. And this is what I get. And you know, I think maybe I was jealous, too. I mean, after all that's happened, why does Kirijo Senpai's father get to live? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? I don't. I think that's like a totally normal. I think that's a totally normal thing when you're grieving somebody that you care about is to almost have. Like, I, th I kind of think that's normal. Wow. I don't know how you do it. You're always so calm. Nothing ever phases you. Did you really think I could just be cheered up so easily? You think you know me? I, uh, you don't know anything. Ah! I'm sorry. I can barely make sense of all of this. I'm so afraid. I just feel so <laughs> lost now. Damn, Yukari, I got whiplash, girl. What are you supposed <laughs> to do now? Holy shit! <laughs> Stay with us and fight. Huh? You really are something else. Do you mean that one in a so good way? <laughs> like this. I know you've lost your parents too. I'll be all right. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. So the the theory that I have about the terminal illnesses and that they are all going to die might not be real. It might. It might actually just be that they have some type of connection with death. Whether it's their parents have died, their siblings have died. Like, they just have some... They've almost died. Like, there's something... It might just be as simple as that instead of they all have terminal illnesses. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? I wanted to help, though, Yukari. <laughs> Aren't you a smooth talker? Thanks, though. Hey, she was blushing. That's cute. Yukari is laughing, though her eyes are red from all the crying. Oh, definitely hug her. Hey! Ah, oh, Junpei. Yeesh, what's taking you guys so long? Everybody was getting worried. It's almost the dark hour. So we got to head back. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, did I miss something? No, I I just almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Well, come on, that's common sense. Even I remembered that. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking lately. Like, is any of this for real or not? Persona? You remember everything that happens during the dark hour. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. We can't escape reality, can we? <sighs> Whoa! Oh, that was, that was, that's actually really, that was some really cool. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. So glad you got that. Like, is any of this for real? Not. Anytime I hear, like, I've been having these weird thoughts or I've I've been thinking, I'm like, my brain immediately goes Kingdom Hearts. That was real. That's really cool. I guess we've just got to stay strong, huh? Yeah, guess so. All right, then. Let's head on back. In exchange for power, we can no longer turn a blind eye to things. Is like, that's dope. Feels like I'm being watched again. I decided to head back anyway. Fucking crabs. I definitely like that the story is starting to... Starting to heat up here. 
Day two of our vacation in Yakushima. The air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. Do they have new outfits? Fuka looks like she does. I hate, I hate. <laughs> Did you hear about Junpei Kun yesterday? I hate the the way that they've like Fuka's Fuka's feet always turn in. Like, ooh, look at I I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. He was acting so indecent. I didn't know how to react. <laughs> it's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Oh, yeah. Mitsuru speaking. One moment. Let me switch over to speakerphone. Uh -oh. Go ahead. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need more information to locate anything other than shadows. Like a robot? It's a type of combat vehicle. An anti-shadow weapon, to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta tell the others. Where's my phone? We're not currently with everyone, so it might take some time for us to regroup. I see. In any case, I want you to handle this as soon as you can. <laughs> I'm on my way there now. Can someone go get my tank, can't please? Secure the target. Do we have permission to destroy it? I highly doubt you will be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Once we do that, we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although searching the whole island won't be easy. Oh, the one time we need them and they're nowhere to be found. I still don't trust Suji. The fact that he just told us to go get a tank and to do our best. Never, yeah. Uh, uh, Fuka in general, so they're all they're all in high school, right? Fuka feels like she is like a freshman in high school. Mitsura feels like an adult that, you know, like it Yukari too in some ways. Fuka though is a child. Like, Fuka's a child. Man, those sleepy heads. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know. Once the sun sets. The water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. That's really what you're worried about? Junpei, that reminds me. Didn't one of the maids give you something as we were leaving? <laughs> you saw that, huh? One of the maids gave me a letter. <laughs> oh, man. What if it's a confession of love? Well, it sure is tough being this popular. You're a moron. <laughs> I need to get that. Okay. That's a good sound redeem. It says we've gone to see the Jomon Cedar Tree. Huh? This looks like Yamagishi's handwriting. Oh man, we're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why are they going to the beach? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I just wanted to lighten the mood yesterday. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter now, anyways. We're on our own. Just a guy. This is the frontier of romance. We're bound to meet someone new out here. We'll call this Operation Yakushima Beach Fling. Wait, you mean we're gonna pick up girls? Good luck. About it, Sonata-san. 
you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. I should have known this was your plan. What do you think about this? Ah, uh, dude, don't ask me. I... White sand beaches, you miss them. I See, I'm not a big fan of the beach, but I, that's because I don't like feeling like I'm stuck when it's really hot. And I feel like that's what the beach is. You're just stuck. And it's hot. Let's begin the operation. Then I'm appointing him our leader, as usual. Oh, uh, dude, Junpei's gonna... What? Why? You said it yourself. This is an operation. Shit. Sorry, Junpei. You take this seriously. It's an important operation. Sorry, bud. What is this mu what is this music? Commence the operation. We're gonna head back first and start prepping for the barbecue. Okay, thanks for walking us here. We'll join you after we take some photos. Hell yeah, dude. Forest bathing is great and all, but I... Sorry. Forest bathing is great and all, but I hate that it gets my feet dirty with mud. I can't relax on the beach like this. I think I'll take a quick shower first. Hello. I heard there was a beach where kids can play. I was nervous at first, but decided to move here. Now when I see them playing so happily, it makes me glad we came. Hello. Going to collect pretty seashells. Cool. What are you doing? Are you here to pick up chicks, sweaty man? You're doing it wrong. You have to be more subtle or put them off. I'm here today with the intention of getting a girlfriend, too. That makes us rivals, doesn't it? Uh, sure. Ooh, target sighted. Let's move in for the kill. Okay, this is my area of expertise. He starts so drooling a little bit. First off, think of something to talk about, something they might be interested in. Give them an easy question and get the ball rolling. That's the golden rule. Something like, where are you from? Or, having fun? Once you get started, you'll be going back and forth like you're playing catch. I'll start things off, then you ask the question, all right? Okay, here we go. I want him to just walk over and just like, hey there. <laughs> just like, how are you? <laughs> Having fun? None of your business. Okay. Bye. Huh? Let's go. Hey, no need to be shy. No, we just. Why should we tell you anything? Why? Oh wait. Well, wait. All right, so we're on the beach, and Junpei has an operation to get a girlfriend. Let's see how it plays out for him. Come on, we're just making conversation. How is this like playing catch? Don't worry, I got this. Watch and learn. So, ladies, are you in college? Or maybe you're already working? Um, you guys seem a little young. Are you still in high school? <laughs> nope. Not us. Seriously, you sure look like high schoolers from here. You know, sorry, that, that was a lie. Oh, really? Junpei. High school kids vacationing in Yakushima. That kind of pisses me off. Sorry, you feel that way. We're only here because we were invited to our friend's vacation home. Wow, a vacation home in Yakushima. Good for your friend. We, on the other hand, had to save up our own money to come here. I think we're crashing and burning a little bit. Oh, that's a pretty big accomplishment, huh? No, not really. So what do you guys want, anyway? They're also being, like, a little rude. Like, sure, we are, too. Like, we just approached them. They're hanging out on a beach, and we're, we're like, you know. But also... They're just like, uh, no. It's not that, like... Okay, you know? 
Uh, what do you guys want anyway? We came to hit on you. What? <laughs> I like your honesty. Don't encourage them. They'll go away if we ignore them. Wait! Don't do that! How can you blame us for wanting to talk to such beauties? <sighs> These guys are full of shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. See you later. <laughs> yeah, you were playing catch, all right. Hey, I did my best. And what about you, Sonata-san? If that's how you feel, then show us how it's done. Yeah, Sonata, with your T-shirt and underwear. Well, you said this was an operation, didn't you? Aren't we supposed to work together in order to succeed? I guess you've put a point there. Fine, I'll give it a shot. I'm sure I'll do better than you at least. Can you give me a hand? I'll go ahead and set the pace. You know, I will say, for somebody who works out literally nonstop, he's like a pretty small dude. That's a choice, and he made it. Oh, we can talk to Junpei? Look, man, I just wasn't at the top of my game. I mean, we all got our bad days, right? I might not like what we're doing, but I hate losing even more. We'll get him next time. Is this sweaty guy? Yeah, this is sweaty man. Those girls were kind of harsh. You shouldn't argue with them when they're like that. Just agree with what they say and shower them with compliments. This is a very basic technique. This whole section's a little uh, fierce guy. I've rented a car because I heard you could drive along the coast, but you can't really see the ocean from the road. Well, it's fine because my girlfriend had fun anyway. Is this your girlfriend? Woman in a good mood. Guys who can drive are so cool. I end up watching them instead of the... If he doesn't bulk, he'll be just well-defined. I mean, maybe he does ballet. They train their muscles to be super strong and super thin. No, he's a boxer. Section's a little, a little icky. Yeah. It's time to go home. Daddy's waiting for us. What's for dinner? The fish daddy caught? Oh, cool. Guess we just talked to them, right? Hello, ladies. Oh, oh. Spotted a new set of targets. Target acquired. Hmm. What are you waiting for, Sonata Shot? Show us what you got. Just keep your mouth shut. Hey, Nobuko. Are those boys looking at us? Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, these ones, these people have names. This part had a transphobic interaction in the Japanese version that they redid. Oh, really? Yikes. Talking to girls on the beach is very 16, 17 year old high school boys. I just don't, I'm just also in the type of person where I don't approach, like, even if I think that they're cute, I don't approach anybody because I don't want to be the person making anybody feel uncomfortable. You know? So I just don't do it. Wow, Yoshie. I'm surprised you could see from over there. All right. Time to get in the ring. Hi there. Hi there. Overshooting the goal. Yeah, my bad. All right, let's see if Akihiko can pull this off any better. Uh, sorry to bother you. But, uh, I, I wanted to ask you something. And what would that be? Uh, um, are you uh, two here alone? Oh, don't ask that. <laughs> are you hitting on us? No, no, not, not at all. We just thought that if you're bored, uh, you might want to talk or... Um, uh, a chance meeting like this might stir things up for both of us, uh, you know. Um, isn't that what it means to hit on someone? Haven't you heard? It's lame to hit on girls at the beach nowadays. Aw, come on. We were bored anyway. And besides, they look kind of cool. Two of us are. Really, Nobuko? Hey. How old do we look to you? Same as us. 
The same as you. It's crap and you know it. But we're just trying to be nice. We've actually been out of college a few years now. Oh, you like old as fuck then. You are? Ugh. That's too bad. Never mind. Bye. Yo, wait. That's fine by us. Older women are more mature. And They're like 21, 22. You know, you're a pretty smooth talker for someone so young. How old are you guys anyway? Truth is, we're in high school. I'll be graduating next year. Oh, gosh. That's more of an age gap than I was expecting. See? It's not gonna work out. Besides, I doubt you're having any fun talking to us. Yeah, we are. Come on. No, you're not. I don't think there's anything we could chat about that you'd find interesting. Unless you want to hear me complain about my boss. Uh, complaining about your boss. Um, that might be fun. You're not very good at lying, are you? You really don't have to try so hard. Yushie, don't ruin the conversation. He said it might be fun, so just play along. You also just said that the age gap was too much, and now you want to. Being so nice to everyone. Oh come on! It's been ages since I've done this. Tease these kids enough. We should head back. They're gonna be waiting on us, you know. Today? You mean you have boyfriends? Oh, right. Sorry, forgot to mention that. Well, we gotta go now. We're meeting our boyfriends back at the villa for a barbecue. You can come if you want. She is really nice. Bye. She's like, I just wanna these kids are flirting with me. I just wanna flirt back because that's fun. We look like a bunch of idiots. That's the other thing. And you you had it pulling your weight either. Deidre and I are also like very flirty. Like we're both very flirty. Like if you flirt with us, if you flirt with us, we've I, I flirt I flirt back, regardless. Deidre flirts back regardless. Doesn't mean that anything needs to happen, right? Flirting is just we just flirting's fun. So like, it's cool. And you, you haven't been pulling her weight. Me? Hey, I was our only shot, Junpei. We should get going or we might not make it in time. I wanted to surprise my boyfriend, so I booked a fancy dinner for us. That's nice. Hey, you. You aren't checking out my girlfriend, are you? That's also weird to me. Like, someone getting mad if you look at someone. Looks like she already has a boyfriend. Tough luck. It's lame to hit on girls at the beach, they said. Also, dude, you're sweating. Like, you're very sweaty. There's a woman over there all alone. It's unusual to find someone not in a group. No boyfriends to be seen in the area either. I think we're in the theater. All right. Time to make contact. Excuse me, miss. There's also a difference between, like... Oh, hello. Can I help you? There's also a difference between, like, you know, oh, you're attractive, hello, and, like, hunting. You know? And these bromigos are hunting. Oh, she's hot. Say, uh, you here alone? Yeah, and I'm so bored. This was, this was the trans panic moment, wasn't it? you by the way you've been trying to pick up girls for a while well how'd you do yep <laughs> that's what i thought you boys don't understand women at all guess i can't deny that yeah that's a good i'm surprised that they You're changed it because i feel like japan is a little not too wrapped up in yourself shouldn't you be thinking more about how to make your partner happy yes ma'am you in the t-shirt. You're the type that's stoic, but not very experienced with girls. Yeah, I guess that might be true. You seem like kind of a hassle, too. Like you're super logical about everything. 
<laughs> and you, with the long hair. Hmm. I'm not sure about you. Oh yeah, that's gross, Ace. I'm not sure about you. Hey, don't hold back. <laughs> I mean, you're mysterious. Like, no one can ever tell what you're really thinking. You know what I mean? Yo. Raise your hand if you've ever flirted with somebody by being like, I just, I can't get a read on you. Like, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't read you. I do. No, oh, you've never. So smart. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the classic. I think you're just my type. Hey, wait a second. Just joking. I like you a lot too. Really? Want me to tell you what would make me really happy? Oh yeah, I see. I can totally. I can. I can see how this was. Like, oh, the one person that's interested in them ends up being, like, a trans woman, and then they get free. I can totally see why they changed. Like, I can see, I could, like, see it. If you ever say you can't get a read on someone, it's you being extreme. Oh, I'm not saying that you're lying when you say it, but it, I definitely feel like that's a tactic that people use, for sure. Your game was very different than that. I don't think I've ever told anyone I can't get a read on them in any, really? That was like, that was like the go-to. Younger, like high school younger, maybe, maybe like early 20s younger. Yes, ma'am. Could I ask you to help me put on my sunscreen? What? I mean, uh, you're all right with that? Of course I am. I have enough for you too. Would you two like to join too? I'll give you a good deal. Good deal? You know that sun in the sky isn't real, right? That's an artificial sun that got sent into space back in the 1980s. Huh? You didn't know? Turns out that sun sends out harmful rays that mess with your body's equilibrium. Normal sunscreen doesn't work. What the fuck? <laughs> now she's delusional, lady. I would have flirted with you, Psionic. Probably a good thing you never went back. Probably, yep. Second we get into flirting strategies, it's the second I... So, like... I don't mean, like, strategies of, like, you're writing this down and then you go out and you practice. I just mean, like, there are definitely things that people do and they notice that that gets them a response that they're looking for and they they you know uh I, but like and that's not even true for just for just flirting we do that we do that all the time like it's just we do that all the time with social cues we know when we know when something hopefully anyways we can kind of read the room we can read the person's body language we can read what they're saying some people can't but that's what i mean by like strategy If you opt in right now, you can get three bottles for just 300,000 yen. Hey, doesn't she sound kind of strange? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Get in there, Junpei. <laughs> what the hell? Don't just leave me behind. What? You're leaving? <laughs> Bye, Junpei. <laughs> Go talk about how the sun is this fake. so much. What's wrong with you? I thought you weren't interested in picking up chicks. If I'm in a match, I want to win. I know what our problem is. You can't control yourself. What? Don't blame this on me. I'm just stating the obvious. Not like you scored either, Sonata-san. Why you always gotta be so logical? Even in front of babes, it doesn't make any sense. What did you just say? Junpei and Sonata continue to bicker. That's it. 
Leader, whose fault do you think it is? Uh, it's no one's fault. It's the people that we were flirting with weren't interested in us. I won't accept a stalemate. It's either him or me. Yeah, that answer ain't gonna cut. You guys are so rude. Have to be real, the Speedo is making you swap your game crush to Sonata. The d that's the reaction st the reaction stayed, but the dialogue changed. Yeah, I could I could see I could see. I'm glad. I mean, I'm, regardless, I'm glad they changed it. I mean, also, like it's shitty, obviously, but this game came out in. what 2000 when did when did persona 3 come out definitely over a decade ago like the way that the way that things have uh advanced in the way that we view things socially now is is different than it was even five years ago right well maybe not because covid stuff is weird but so like it's good they changed it. Besides, who the hell do you? No. <laughs> what was that? Do you see something? What are you wearing? That was cool. 2006, yeah, so. Why are you hiding? Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Holy hell, she's cute. Yeah, she is. Oh man, this is insane. If we nail this, it'll blow our failures out of the water. How about this time, we try going one by one instead of all together. All right, I'm in. Okay, and let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. She looks super familiar. Ready? She might be in like the trailers. Rock, paper, I'm guessing scissors. she's gonna be somebody important. Paper. I lost. Damn. Oh, yeah, I win. Okay, I'll go first. Sonata sign a second. And you'll go last. Here goes. Oh, I think she's on the face of like the season pass thing. Uh, hey, I notice you've been uh, staring at the ocean. Want to stare at me instead? Oh, um, you here with anyone? My name's Junpei. <gasps> Junpei? <clears throat> um, I was just wondering if. Oh my God! Down the top. Wait. If you're busy. She's the robot. She's the anti-shadow weapon robot thing. Oh. It's more fun than standing here all by yourself, right? I am looking for someone. Mm-hmm. Hundred uh, percent. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. You are not that someone. You got shot down faster than I expected. She's a tough one, Senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Oh, hey. Do you like the uh, motion? Is your question directed at me? Yeah, 100%. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I like the ocean. I, you know. I heard something interesting about triathletes who train at indoor pools. Apparently, they get outperformed by athletes who train in the ocean. That information is irrelevant to me. <laughs> I kind of wish... Well, I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you 
talk to her? I kind of just love that reaction. That information is irrelevant to me. This sucks. I could cry. Hey, don't cry. Ugh, you're making me feel bad. Is she looking for us? Well, that's where we are. If you can't pull this off, I'm going to be traumatized for the rest of my life. We're on the ropes, but it's not over yet. It's all up to you now. Yeah, Akahiko was at least like that. That was a good. That wasn't. It's better than Junpei always asking, Are you here with someone? Are you claimed? I'll avenge you. What should I say to her? Hey, baby. Just in time for the beach episode. What's up, Hawk? Hello. You. Me. I can hear what he said. And she looks surprised. We should go over there. <laughs> Initiating evasive maneuver. Confirmation must be made at a secure location. She's a hundred percent. Hundred percent. The anti-shadow hey, thing that they were talking about. Run away like that? Well, what are you waiting for? Go after her. Uh, yeah, you're right. This could turn into serious trouble. You gotta go tell her you're sorry. If you I... don't, we'll get all the blame. Go on. You can catch her if you hurry. I decided to follow the girl into the forest. Take that out of context. Now it starts getting real weird. Beg for forgiveness and introduce her to me, please. <laughs> the way she just started off is odd. Now, I'm not sure what you said to her, but you better clear up the misunderstanding. I said hello, and then you two started getting forking weird, dude. She Naruto runs. Why do you do that? should go after her and clear up the misunderstanding. She for sure, that's 100% what they're doing, right? Because I think she's, I think I've seen her face like on the uh, season pass stuff. I think she's in the like opening thing too. There's a few characters that are in the opening movie that I didn't even like n uh, notice. The, the dude, uh, Shinjiro. Uh, Ken. I, th I, maybe her? A woman runs away. Do not follow her through the spooky woods. It's not, uh, it's not the best option. Yeah. Especially if they hide behind a sign. <laughs> Hello. I lost sight of the girl. Hmm. It's the girl from earlier. <laughs> huh. No, this is a different girl. She must be the one. Oh, right. Who's been watching me. Yeah, yeah. He keeps being like, I'm just going to wait. Now I am certain. I have found you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be at your side. All right. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, I'm going to pull a Krillin so hard here. What's going on? He didn't even say anything to her. Seems like she still doesn't want to let go. See who you guys are? Is Yukari going to get jealous? Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Who's this? And why is she hugging you? Ooh, are you jealous? Listen, we have a slight situation here. <laughs> that girl is a robot. Uh, what does it mean to pull a Krillin? Uh, Krillin from Dragon Ball? Dragon, uh, in Dragon Ball Z... They have these enemies, these androids that they fight, uh, Android 17 and 18, and uh, 
throughout the story, they kind of become uh, not necessarily good, but not necessarily bad. They're just like doing their own thing. And uh, Krillin has the hots for Android 18. Uh, and they end up getting married and having a child after her parts are made real. So pulling a Krillin means to date an android. <laughs> you know. Krillin, Krillin, wis Krillin wishes. 17 is too hot. Can't do it. Whoa, spoiler, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need everyone to go back to the house and gear up. Are you looking for her? Ah, oh, that won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. Mr. Chairman, what do you mean? You had me worried. You can't just leave the lab on your own, I guess. I guess? Understood. Sorry for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. What happened to securing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. Yeah, that's 17. I guess. Join us over here. Understood. Oh, they still haven't picked up on the fact that. Whoa! This is Igus. As you can see, she's a machine with the form and face of a human girl. I am Igus. My objective is to exterminate shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. Wood? No way. It's like she's alive. This is unbelievable. How can a robot be this cute? What a cruel world. She's not just a robot, Ten okay? Ten years ago, a plan was enacted to create anti-shadow weapons. A contingency in the event a shadow became unmanageable. Igis was the last one to be made. And she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she has a persona too? Correct. I am capable of wielding the persona called Palladian. How? She suffered major damage in combat her first year out, and she's been kept in the lab ever since. I'm still not sure as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. In any case, I hope you'll all get along. An anti-shadow weapon, possessing a will all her own. This is amazing! Uh, if you don't mind me asking, when we first saw you earlier, you were, uh, hugging our leader. She's so jealous. Artificial soul? If you could craft an artificial soul, then what even is a soul? At least in the context of this, right? Do you know him? Yes. It is very important for me to be by his side. Agreed. Hmm. Maybe her facial recognition system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. Very interesting. Missledine Coon. Yeah, isn't it weird? <laughs> I wish it was Missledine Senpai, but that's for different reasons. Hmm. Half asleep? Well, I can ponder this later. Anyhow, I forgot to mention. Did you know there are a wide range of recreational facilities you can use here? There's a tennis court, a pool table, and even a karaoke machine. Would anyone care to hear me sing? Sir, uh, we... What? We're just gonna gloss over a robot? It's day three of our vacation in Yakushima. Man, I can't believe it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could, but I can't complain too much. You went through a hell of a lot here. Yeah, like hearing you and the chairman singing. I barely got any sleep last night. Day three, same clothes. It's a bathing suit, weirdo. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Yes, I am informed of the concept. 
Recreation is sustenance for one's mental well-being. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wow, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. Uh, wait. Junpei Kun, is it okay for Igus to go in the water? I'm sure she's fine. Oh, are you done already? What if they built a robot that just couldn't get wet <laughs> at all? <laughs> like that anti-shadow thing, but if you splash water on them, they wicked witch of the west. Tomas has a different bathing suit for each day of the week. Yeah, apparently. Robot with no feet, no clothes, but like wore a dress yesterday. Yeah, wore a dress to hide the fact that they were a robot. It is best that everyone partake in this activity together. Deriving enjoyment alone is not the optimal method to have fun. <laughs> You've got some strong feelings on pretty weird things, don't you? But what the heck, might as well. The robot ain't got a booty though, so like, pass. We should join them. <laughs> Agreed. Still has robot goat hooves. Yeah, Dran and I are cool though. During our time here, but it looks like we'll get to relax a bit today. <laughs> that would be nice. Suji, why are you? Sonata son, what are you doing? Come what are you on, wearing, dude? Turn. My turn. What are they doing? <laughs> Glad to see everyone's having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship is arriving tomorrow, right? I'll probably head over to the port early. So don't be late. Okay. I'll let everyone know. We can get back to business once we return to the dorm. Got it. I don't understand, though, why Sonata is wearing a shirt. Unless they they gave him the Speedo and they're like, it'd be too much. Oh my gosh! Nice. Do it. <laughs> That's amazing. I had a fun time with everyone in Yakushima. With Igus joining, things are likely to get livelier. I have a feeling shit's about to get real dark, though. Rank 5? I'm a rank 5 fool. I mean, I wear a shirt because I just don't like to not have a shirt on. But. You seem to be in great pain. Didn't I just say things are about to get dark? You again. Shit, it's them. You mean those three? Ugh, they're freaky. Why do they always run and hide at the sight of me? They're like back alley rats. <laughs> Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. <laughs> they still just call him Intelligent Boy, even though we know his name. I'll pay you the usual way. This time, we'd like your payment in the form of information. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full, of course. They've spent a great deal of time in the tower as well. I wonder, why did they take this burden upon themselves? Hmm. You do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it perhaps because you're one of them? I'm not. I've got nothing to do with them anymore. Then tell us. I'm sure you'd agree these pills are more important than a group you have nothing to do with. <sighs> I don't know the details, but supposedly destroying all those creatures will put an end to the Dark Hour. And that weird-ass tower will disappear. That's all I know, all right? 
You mean, they intend to eliminate the Dark Hour completely? Why would they do such a thing? To give up such power? So they're Persona users as well? To destroy the Tower of Demise. Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn thing? <sighs> Takaya. Oh, okay. Yes, I know. So Jin, Takaya, and then we don't know the goth girl's name. I can't go back. I won't use my power again. Not after last time. Ah, tropey. I love it. I love it. Oh, we're, we're home. Looks like the product I ordered through. Let's see what's inside. Oh, seasonal corn. Man, I'm beat. Seemed to take forever to get back. Hello. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up so you're ready for the yeah. next operation. There's six more to fight, right? Just the last full moon shadow. Just the last full moon shadows and things will go back to normal. Just the last. What? No more apathy syndrome incidents. Just plain old everyday life. Let's do our best. After all, we're the only ones who can help. That seemed like weird. That seemed like a weird sentence. Uh, all right. That's a perfect time, though, to end the persona part of today's stream. Oh, I guess this. Wait, 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 wait. Greetings. These are your lodging quarters. Very well. I shall remain by your side at all times. She's still far from passing as a human. It doesn't look like she understands ordinary feelings in conversation yet. If she could, I might be able to form a bond with her. Oh. Reflects physical damage once for one ally. Reflects magic damage once. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, oh yeah, we also unlocked, there's a new shop. Actually, I think there's a new, wait, wait, wait. I think there's a new shop before I end. There's a couple of things here. Uh, we're not ending stream stream. I'm just ending the persona part. We're gonna do the Twitch drop thing for a while. I can sense that the power growing within you stems from the bonds you have forged. More Twilight Fragments. And then she also has the request because we got the beach stuff. She wishes to feel the ocean. Seems you've completed a request. One moment, please. I see you're carrying something related to the ocean. May I have one? Oh, well, I don't know which one. Chat, what do I pick? I feel like... I feel like giving her... I don't know. I feel like giving her, like, any of it is kind of weird. She wants something that's the sea. I feel like we should give her... I'm going to give her the seashell. Yeah. Oh my. What a beautiful shell. I profess it is deeply moving knowing that something so enchanting was sculpted by nature. How splendid. Because of your stories and your lovely souvenirs, I was able to experience the ocean myself. Take this as your reward. Five amethyst. Okay. Uh Very well. So What do I do with the other stuff? <laughs> Good day. Here are my requests. Uh maybe I chose the wrong thing. Maybe I should have shaved first. Uh, sa uh, shaved. Very saved well. first. Whoops. Okay, but then I think there's a... I think this shop is open now. Be Blue V. Our special 3,000 yen program will cleanse your soul and send you to heaven. Face your inner self and bring out that which lies deep within you. I might be able to recall a forgotten persona skill if I undergo the treatment at the store. You can help your allies recall forgotten skills. Take advantage of... Oh! That's dope. Also take on a part-time job here. Time will pass when you visit the shop, whether that's as a customer or an employee. Working part-time. Working here might help improve my academics and charm. Interesting. So you can... I, okay, that's cool. I wasn't sure if we could, like, learn... 
uh, if our, our team could, like, relearn skills. And they can. All right, cool. Um, I just wanted to see that before we ended. I don't know what the rest of the stuff I got is for then. So, all right, cool. We're going to switch over to, uh, we're going to switch over to the WoW stuff. 